Ooh, 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 ooh. I got caught. Ooh. Saved. In case you are wondering, this is cranberry raspberry juice. It's five calories per serving. Oh, oh my god, that is like a hundred that is like ninety percent vodka. Whatever. Oh, okay, I'm a dummy. I had the straw in all the way. All the vodka's at the bottom because I poured it first. And then I tasted it from the top and it was just all juice. That's why we stir. All right, that's pretty good. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Alien from 1986, the sequel to Alien. Basically, collecting collecting resources, right? And they came across this planet, and they're like, oh, let's go check this out. And then, oh, it's okay, okay. Under the assumption that it's like, all right, this planet, there's no life on this planet. All right, cool, bet. But then they saw the building, I guess you'd call it, whatever. Something was built on that planet and that then they were like oh let's go check that out and it's like dude as interesting as that is yeah i'm good that's where i go back to the ship and i say we get the fuck off this planet right now but they kind of have to because it's their job to research everything so that's what they do and then and then kane found all the eggs right and then he's like oh this is cool and then one hatch and then got sucked to, sucked to his face and they brought him back to the ship or whatever and then a little baby alien spurted out of his chest and that's our alien from the movie now Ripley was the only one that got away. She's the only one that lived because I feel like she was just the most rational person on that, on that ship. Well, not okay. Okay, they were all pretty rational. It was just Ash who wasn't because he's a scientist who had to collect data and he cared more about the science than he did about his uh, crew. But it turns out that guy was a fucking robot. So it's like what? <laughs> like what the fuck? But anyway, Ripley got away on her little shuttle. But then on the shuttle. The alien was on her shuttle, just taking a fucking nap. <laughs> and she opened the airlock, boom, sucked that bitch in the space. And she got away, right? No, this is the sequel. Um, I'm, okay, okay. Technically, like, okay. A sequel to Alien probably shouldn't exist because like logically thinking about it, why the fuck would you go back? Why would you ever go back to that part of like the solar system or wherever that planet was like, <sighs> I'm assuming that's what happens like oh we gotta go research it more and they land on that planet again and like an alien gets on their ship again like something like that has to happen you know but the real answer is because the first movie probably did so good they were like oh we have to make a sequel so okay we'll go with it and yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you would like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as an early access to the next four movies that i do will also be on patreon so grab your snacks i got mine right here and let's start this movie and in case you're wondering i am going to watch aliens special edition i'm watching this on youtube which is kind of weird the, like i saw it was on hulu right and that's where i tried to watch the first movie but then they wanted me to like get the stars like this add-on for stars and then they're like oh but stars is only available with our live tv and that's 69 dollars a month and i was just like yeah, all right, I'll go fuck myself. So, I'll take that. Okay, so we're starting, all right. So we're starting this movie out on Ripley's shuttle. Bio readouts are all on the green. Looks like oh, she's alive. Ah, oh, the cat's in there too. Oh, we're back on Earth? Wow. Never thought I'd be so fucking happy to be back. God damn, this fucking space station's fat. Natural side effects of such an unusually long hypersleep. What do you mean? Yeah, how long? How long was I out there? Has no one discussed this with you yet? No, bitch, I just woke up. 57 years. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck. Dog, I was thinking like 10, five, like 10 years. Damn, Jonesy. Someone's a little cranky. Oh, she's having a heart attack. And she didn't age at all. So it was... God! 
Oh no, it's no, dude, do not tell me an alien's gonna rip out of her chest. Please don't, please. Oh, 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 please. Bro, please don't, please don't tell me an alien comes out of her chest. Please, kill, kill me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was just a Sarah Connor dream. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to do that on a space station. <laughs> any word about my daughter? Mm-hmm. Married name, I guess. Age 66. Oh. And that was at the time of her death. Oh. Ah, uh, R.I.P. Damn. I'd be home for her birthday. Oh. <gasps> Damn, dude, that, that's tough. Outliving your kid. Wait, if no one ever found her, how long would she have lasted in the cryo sleep? Like, she, she would have to have died at some point, just in there. Like, how long would it have kept her alive before she just dies? Thereby destroying an M class star freighter, a rather expensive piece of hardware. Well, Fuck yeah. By you for reasons unknown. Not for reasons. Doc. Company orders to get this thing. Yeah. Your expensive ship. The analysis team, which went over the. Dude, they did not believe her. By centimeter found no physical evidence of the creature you described. Good. Yeah, because I. Blew it out of the goddamn airlock. <laughs> exactly. 426. No, it's a rock. No indigenous life. Oh my god, bro. No one's ever been there besides our crew. That ship said he saw thousands of eggs there. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That will be all. Dude. F shit that you think is so important, you can just kiss all that goodbye. Yeah, she's right. But of course they don't believe her, bro. Of course. Said license is hereby suspended indefinitely. Fuck. Bro, all right. We're all dying. Cool. CC psychiatric technician. Okay, dude, she, this reminds me a lot of Terminator, how, like, Sarah Connor was, like, T2, in T2, when Sarah Connor was just tripping, no one believed her, until, literally, he pulls up. There for over 20 years, and they never complained about any hostile organism. Bro, you, what the fuck are you talking about? They go in, set up these big atmosphere processes to make the air breathable. Takes decades. Wow, so we colonize it. Oh, they're all dead. I don't know, 60, maybe 70 families. Yeah, they're dead. I, I, well, bro, when was the last time you checked on them? Huh? Have you heard anything from them recently? Huh? Or you just knew they're there? And you're like, oh yeah, they're fine. You know, they might not be close to... A, I think she referenced it as a beacon. Whatever the fuck the aliens are in. You know, the people that colonized it, they might not even be close enough to where they're actually interact with it, at least for a long time. But if they're trying to like change the fix the atmosphere so you can breathe on it, then I guess you kinda gotta kinda gotta go all over the world. But you said it takes decades, so maybe they still Yeah, so good chance they haven't reached it yet. Good chance they haven't came close to it yet. You go in places we can't fit. So that's why I'm the best. Knock it off. Oh my god, that wait, was that a knock in the movie or I thought I actually heard something. I was like, what the fuck? Ooh. Is that an actual knock in the- what? Dude, I- These headphones are good. Board big this time. Oh, they found it. They found it. <laughs> Let's wait till we know what to call it in ads. Dude, it looks kind of beat up. Like, it doesn't look as fresh and pristine as it did in the last movie. <sighs> yeah, why is there a fat fucking hole in this side? What happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! <laughs> they got him. Bro, you gotta flick that thing. What are you doing? Lieutenant Gorman of the Colonial Marine Corps. 
Ripley, we have to talk. Bro, she's not gonna talk to you. She, everyone just on LB426. fucking. Oh shit! I was gonna say after they all just disrespected her like that, but. You guys throw me at the wolves, and now you want me to go back out there? Oh, you got me fucked up. My problem. Yeah. The troops. I can guarantee your safety. No. No. <laughs> Nothing they can't handle. Lieutenant. Bro, you've never seen the alien, though. Hey, but if it's not, I would like you there as an advisor. And that's all. Dog, it's not like she studied the thing. She barely survived. Busy. And I, I know it's the only thing that you could get. It's nothing wrong. <laughs> Dude, stop. If I go. Yeah. Ripley, it's not worth it. It's not, it's not worth it, bro. <laughs> No chance. Yeah. Okay. Good for her, dude. Good for her. No chance. I'm going back. No chance. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's having another nightmare. God damn, she's soaking wet from all the sweat. Just like, just like he said. Ripley. <sighs> Ripley, don't. But to wipe them out. That's the plan. Yeah, my word on it. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm in. Yeah, I mean, it, okay. Look, like, I guess in her situation, it's like, okay. Would you rather wake up in the middle of the night every single night having these nightmares that just feel so realistic, and it, it just, or would you rather go in? Wipe them out. Know for sure they're all gone, and then you have peace for the rest of your life if it works out. So there's also a chance you could die. I. That's really what. That's really what she's facing. I guess she'd rather die trying than having these nightmares for the rest of her life. And it's not like she could just sit back while they all do the work and wipe them out. Like I feel like it's a personal. Like, it's definitely a personal thing for her. Like she has to be there to be a part of it so she can confront the fear. And also just personally make sure it's gone. It's gone. Because if they just tell her, it's like, well, yeah. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, they're gone. But like if they just tell her, yeah, we wiped them out. It's like, cool. But she doesn't actually know for sure. Because she wasn't there to see it for herself. I like how they're all just positioned like this, except for Ripley. She's like... <laughs> She's the only one that got comfortable. Have you ever been mistaken for a man? No. Have you? Okay. Honestly, fuck you for waking up and the first thing you do is pull-ups. Fuck you. Dumbass comics. Brock, they, doc, they all think this is like a joke, but Ripley's the only one that like actually understands what's about to happen. They don't. Th they don't actually think it's a joke, but they're just not taking it as seriously as they should. Oh God. Trust me. Ah, <laughs> oh, they sped that up. They they're speeding this footage up. <laughs> Like the new lieutenants too good to eat with the rest of us, grunts. Wait, bro, wait, 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 okay, wait, wait. Is that the dude who played Kyle Reese from T1? That sounds just like him, and it kind of looks like him. You never said anything about an android being on board, why not? Oh, they have an android? It never occurred to me. It's just common practice. We always have a synthetic on board. I prefer the term artificial person myself. Wow. Oh. Is there a problem? Uh, no, I just kind of had a traumatic experience with the last one. <laughs> Explains it, and the U2s always were a bit twitchy. Yeah. Oh, that's probably why he's hella good at the five finger fillet, I think it's called. Guess you don't like the cornbread either. <laughs> I mean, I get it. But I feel like Bishop seems like a good guy. No way they'll do that to us twice. No way. No way they'll have him turn like bad or malfunction. Look, man, I only need to know one thing. Why? Where they are. No, okay. You should know this at least, because what if it jumps on your face? I mean, if it jumps on your face, then you can't do shit. But, like, if it jumps on your homie's face, you know? We'll have seven hours. Now move it, people! 
you know, the crew does come off kind of like a bunch of assholes. But I, I, dude, I hope they put in work though. Like I, if it's gonna be really satisfying to see them put in work. You know, it was, it's like in Game of Thrones. All right, I'm not gonna say exactly, not, so I don't accidentally spoil for anyone, just in case. But it, it's when Sir Alistair put in work. Like he's a fucking dick, but he put in work when it mattered. Like okay, I was like, all right, all right, all right I respect him for that. Bro, just fucking can that thing grab the aliens by their fucking throat. <laughs> nah, that thing's probably way too slow to fight one of the aliens. Where you want it? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Alright, bro, they have to put in work. They have to. Like, if they, okay, dude, if they just get waxed, that's so pathetic. It's time to die! Get on the right Eight. Simulated. Damn. Uh, two. Including this one. Oh. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel like they're gonna need a bear crew. Uh, I am the ultimate badass. Yes. State of the badass art. He's dying first. Me. <laughs> Me and my squad of ultimate badasses will protect you. <laughs> Definitely dying first. Ten seconds, people. Look sharp. <sighs> All right. Okay. Oh god, it looks. This looks. So, oh my god, this place is trashed. All right. Aliens are definitely here. Wait, wait. What? Oh, 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 oh. Hicks, back up. Pan right. <gasps> oh, they're beneath us. Okay, wait. Where are all the bodies at? Like, okay, obviously, people have died. Unless the aliens just took the bodies, too, and did something with them. All right, the area is secured. Let's go in and see what the computer can wait tell us. It's not secure. The area is secured. Mm -mm. First team, head for operation. Shake my head. Ah, uh, Ripley's super hesitant. Are you alright? Bro, now I am. Now I got fucking Kyle Reese with me. <laughs> Motherfuckers are kind of Terminator. <laughs> Dude, this kind of does feel like the future that Terminator was like talking about. Does that make sense? Like, imagine this is the same movie, but instead of aliens, it's Terminators. That'd be that actually be pretty late because it takes place in the future, like when John Connor is fully grown. Oh, that'd be fucking. That actually be really good. And before Kyle Reese went back in time, then at the end of the movie, he's like, "All right, bro, I'm going back in time." Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Same. <laughs> yeah, those are the thing that jumped on their face. I guess they put it in a tank. Careful, Burke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Looks like love at first sight to me. Dude, I hope Burke doesn't die. Seems like a seems like an honest guy. Hey, Palm, where are your people? Anybody in D block? Oh, uh, that's a negative. We're all in operations. <gasps> I'll bet. <laughs> okay, I know this is completely irrelevant, but the dude in the front right now—he looks so much like Max Crosby. If you know, you know. Watch it be like a cat or something like that. Oh, what the fuck was that? The fuck? Fuck. Hold up. Bro, sick aim, bro. Like, oh, I feel so fucking safe now. Oh, wait, did they get it? Oh, 
oh, it was a little girl. Uh, oh, okay. So he shot, and then he, okay. He saved the girl by, okay, I, I got it. That's why he missed. I got her. Ow! <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, she's probably so fucking scared. Like, she probably barely survived what just happened. Oh, duh. Okay, that's actually a pretty lit hiding spot. Dude, how long has she been here? Wait. Nope. No, you don't. Yep. It's okay. You're gonna be all right now. Dog, what if she has an alien in her chest? What if she has an egg in her chest? Second grade. Wow. Rebecca Jordan. Newt. My name's Newt. Newt. I like that. I'm oh. Ripley. Bro, RIP Newt, bro, RIP Newt, though. Fuck. Timmy. Is Timmy around here, too? Maybe. He got waxed. Look at me. Where are they? They're dead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. These people are here to protect you. It won't make any difference. Yeah, because she's seen them. She's seen the aliens, bro. She knows what they're capable of. Unknown. It looks like all of them. Okay. Oh. A goddamn town meeting. All right. Let's saddle up. Dude, dog, don't even go in there. Just bomb it. Just set bombs around the entire perimeter and just explode. And then investigate. Okay, honestly, dude, I, I, I don't really care who lives or dies. I'd be pretty hurt if Ripley died, but like that's really- or in Kyle or Kyle Reese. I know his name's not Kyle Reese in the movie, but I didn't hear his name. Kinda want Brick to survive. Everyone else, I'm kinda like, eh, if they die. I just- I just hope we see an all-out war. That's what I wanna see. I just wanna see a fucking war. Left and right, little buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Mission's showing a lot of breakup. Oh, no. Interference from the structure. Those lights. Next one down. Oh, wait. Never mind, never mind. I thought, was like, I thought every little dot meant there was one. That was like a lot. Take that. We're looking for civvies in here. Oh, we're looking for... Okay, we're looking for civilians, too. Yeah, can't really blow it up. <laughs> There's potential civilians. Yeah. Bro, is every little dot a fucking alien? Well where your team is they're right under the primary heat exchangers ah oh, fuck it's gonna blow up if they fire their weapons in there won't they about a thermonuclear explosion and adios muchachos oh my god <laughs> wonderful dog how, how how did no one know that before she okay whatever how did no one recognize that and have any firing in there I, uh, she fucking crazy. Dog. This man, harsh language. Yeah. Lots of. Next cover I have. Andy. For close encounters. All right. No. No. Fuck. No. Fuck. <laughs> Or fucked. <laughs> so that's what they did with the fucking bodies. Oh! Oh, he's alive. He's alive. You're all right. You're gonna be all right. Dude, they all might be alive. Actually. Convulsion! Oh no. <laughs> oh, you gotta kill that thing right now. Oh, but it's given Ripley flashbacks. <gasps> oh. oh no, you just woke him up. You just woke him up. Multiple signals. They're closing. Fuck. Can't see anything in here. Pull your team out, Gorman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, they can't even use their plasma guns or whatever. Like that that low key kind of fuck. Great fucking plot armor. Oh shit. Oh. Fuck. 
bro. I, I'm dipping. Oh. I'm dipping. I'm Bro, you just wiped out like eight of our men, of our soldiers. Let's rock! <laughs> no, no, tell me to die. Oh. He is trembling so fucking hard. Sergeant Scott, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah. Hicks, Hicks. Hicks, Hicks, no. Hicks, no. Please, please, please. Fuck. Fuck. All right. What are we doing, Ripley? What are we doing? What are you doing? I'm doing what you couldn't do. That's why I'm... <laughs> Fuck him, Ripley. Don't listen to him. He's a bitch. Magic Hell yeah, Bert. Alright, we got one. Uh, yeah, I feel like a flamethrower. Oh, Come no. On! Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Forget him, he's gone! Wow. Yeah. Get out of the goddamn door! Yeah. Eat this! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's fucking moving that thing. Oh. Holy fuck. God damn, dude. I like how we fucking waxed like four of the, those aliens. Like, cause like in the last movie, they seemed so invincible. But it feels good knowing that like we can actually kill them. It's not easy, but. Hey, first aid kit. Hey. Hey, look. No, 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 no. no. Dietrich aren't dead, man. Oh, wait. Fuck that. You don't even have people. Uh, He's going back you in. You can't help them. Their, their vital signs. Dude. Being cocooned just like the others. Yeah. Hey, ah, uh, no, never mind. If I nuke the entire site from orbit. Yes, we got a new home. There's a substantial dollar value attached to it. Oh. They can bill me. Well, they can suck my fucking cock and balls. I don't care. <laughs> Has the right to arbitrarily exterminate them. Hold on. Dog, they're fucking menaces. What do you? <sighs> Fuck this. Fuck, fuck the business side of it, dude. Has authority. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way he said it. Nuke the side from orbit. Mm hmm. To be sure. Yep, hell yeah. I'm with you on that, Kyle. He likes Ripley. So that's why he literally just said exactly what she said. Oh. Hold on a second, there's something. No. No, no. Well, where the fuck? <gasps> oh. Fuck. Fuck. Now, what the fuck are we supposed to do? <laughs> Big shit now, man. <laughs> that guy has lost all hope. It wasn't your fault. Oh. And they mostly come at night. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I guess that's the best thing you can do. Two rounds each. That ain't so good. Cause the main guy had all the ammo on him and they got waxed. The good news is our fucking weapons are good to work up here. 17 days. Oh! Earl survived longer than that with no weapons and no training. Oh, dude, let's go to her hiding spot. Let's all just kick it in there. Every possible way into this complex. Mm-hmm. Hudson, just relax. Yeah, he is, he's so fucking paranoid. But I, <laughs> I get why. AMD sentries are in place and key. Right. <laughs> Stand by. Sentries. Oh, my God. Okay, great. Go get the hell out of here. Fuck, yeah. Just like Call of Duty. The locator. Then I can find you anywhere in the complex. Thanks. Doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. 
<laughs> this was his first girlfriend before he met Sarah. <laughs> Where is she? Uh, yeah, she passed away. Take this. Aw, Kyle just gave that to you. I'm not gonna leave you, Newt. I mean that. Oh. Aww. Yeah, Ripley sees her as like a daughter figure now, you know. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. I do that to Nala all the time. The <laughs> host for more of these. Yep. That's over a hundred at least. Fuck. So who's laying these eggs? I'm not sure. Yeah, who the fuck? <laughs> who, who is getting piped that much? Like. One female that runs the whole show. Yeah, it, it could be that. ...that they would be kept alive in stasis for return to the company labs. No, bro, no. 